Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews Movie News. Today we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, Hello. and Ryan Preston. So the question of the week is, what is your top three favorite comic book heroes? And we're going to start off the show with a little movie news. And on the, oh, this is such a shocker pile, Kevin Fain confirms that Captain Marvel will be an origin story. Shocking! No way! A comic oh, book movie on, that yeah. starts off with an origin. What was that, Ryan? I mean, of course, of course it is. Every every comic book movie is going to be an origin, except for Batman and Superman. I let's the, just let's just resign ourselves to that. Okay. The, the question is, how many people know of Captain Marvel, especially not enough to not do a backstory, <laughs> and know that Captain Marvel's a woman? <laughs> and I actually think they could just go without having an origin story, and I think it'll be fine. Because I don't think, I actually think they could have a story and tell the origin in the middle of the story. I don't know, kind of an original yeah, idea. Yeah, but I, that's, that's almost getting kind of gimmicky, you know. I think they should bring Static Shock in. Now, see, the, the problem that you, <laughs> that you, that you run into, yeah, I'm, I agree. The, I the totally problem that you that. run into with, uh, with the origin story as the whole movie is you run the risk of bringing out the, the powers of the character too late into the movie where people are just bored to, you know, they're bored of their gills. With with all of the exposition and how they got there, and uh, the one movie that comes to mind that did it really good was Ant Man. Yeah, you know that was actually I was actually pleasantly surprised by that one. I was got really into it quick. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think the the benefit that Ant Man had though that the fact it was not. Well, it was well known. He's not a big, big character. If you if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, he does. He grows into a really big character if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, he's, come on, dude. He's an an, he's really an ancillary character. So, <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, you did. And and the <laughs> so I think they could have. It was more comedic, versus if you look well, at all the well, other see, ones. That's that's what actually kind of kept you going. Is you you got people like Paul Rudd really entertaining you, almost making you forget you're watching a superhero movie. And you're like, oh shit, he turned into an ant. I forgot. <laughs> well, I I think John also really likes Ant Man because it wasn't done by Michael Bay. Bingo. I mean, I mean just throwing that out there. I yeah. I mean, there's a lot of John crap I can say. John is a but... big fan of Michael Bay. For you audience members, we would really appreciate it if you just sent us all the requests for Michael Bay movies. Don't do that because they'll the, never get it. it. It's John. At, what was it? Jrdc.net. <laughs> nope. Yeah, just send. All of your Michael Bay requests to that. No, please don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's I think that John might kill me stuff. for doing that. <laughs> yes, yes. Matter of fact, yes. If James isn't here next week, you know why. You know what? You can also send a request to Gonzo Ate Me Too at Yahoo.com. That's fine with me as well. You, since yeah. it's Yahoo, you'll never see that versus all the spam he gets. <laughs> you guys be prepared for the flood of four emails. <laughs> <laughs> so. The, the thing that I thought was interesting is Mel Gibson's been a, a, in the news a lot when it comes to Hollywood. And there's a was a, a report that came out that said Mel Gibson is no longer persona non grata in, in uh, Hollywood. Because it, it was a, something Ridge is coming out. He's got the second Passion yeah, of the Christ coming see out. Yeah, um, <laughs> when And um, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm really excited to, to, to see what he does because I actually like him better as a director. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think, Ryan? Um, look, I, I've <laughs> I've always been a fan of Mel Gibson, which is why I was so kind of kind of broken hearted and went all anti Jew on everybody. Um, yeah, but I, I really I appreciate what he's done as a, as a filmmaker, even the shit that he kind of did under the radar, you know, after the whole you know incident yeah. and whatnot. And dun dun dun. You know, look, I it's. There's there's a lot of actors that I don't really that I can divorce sort of their personal dumb shittedness to you know the movies that they make you know I'm never gonna not like Braveheart because the guy said some you know like yeah. anti-Semitic shit yeah you know I mean it's 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 a bloody shame that he did you know but I I don't I'm not reading the guy's blog I'm watching movies that he's acting in I you know reading I would totally read his blog just because I actually think it would be funny I think it would be in all caps though. <laughs> um, and hey, at least somebody got that joke. Um, the other one, I'm actually really sick of this freaking trend. 
Disney is going to make another live-action movie, and this is going to be in of the second golden age of Disney. Can you guess which one? Yes, I can, because I can see your screen. Okay, guess. <laughs> Aladdin. Circle gets the square. Why the hell do they need a, a, a remake of this? And the, here's the uh, reason why I say they shouldn't. Robin Williams is dead. Yeah. Leave Wait, it I'm alone. Are they, are they doing this live action? Yes. Yeah, Guy yeah, Ritchie. No, I've been saying this shit for years that they need to do that one live action. Well, see, well okay, look, maybe not necessarily Aladdin, but I was actually thinking like a like a good 40 Thieves movie, you know? Well, they're doing Beauty and the Beast as well. I know. They just repurposed like 11 movies that they're going to be doing live action. Um, and, and, and that's cool and all, but... I know. You really want a live action Jungle do, Book, don't you? They can't do Genie. They, that's that's pretty much like that's the thing is it has to go. I know everyone's probably sick of this shit nowadays, but it's got to go dark. See, you know, it's got to go wait, the other wait. direction. I got an idea, Disney. You can do Genie, but Genie is CGI, and all that you had Robin Williams all those eight ten hours of audio that you couldn't release because Robin Williams was cursing, you can do that for a voiceover of the CGI. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, no, saying, no. I'm saying go, be... go CGI, go really dark, get Benedict Cumberbatch to do the voice. No, 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 no. Oh Samuel God. L. Jackson. Are you... What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Ryan, I know you got this man crush on Benedict Cumberbatch. He is not perfect for every role, okay? Hey, Cumberbatch is my boy, all right? And did you hear him do the voice of Smaug in, in The Hobbit? It was like the only good part of that shit. See, yeah, here's... here's I'm going to slap you if he sucks at, at So Dr. there's Strange. only one good thing so far from what I've heard is Guy Ritchie is supposed to direct this movie. Yeah, I heard you mention that. Um, Guy Ritchie's going to do what? He's going to direct it. going to direct Aladdin. We're still talking about Aladdin? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. But my my big problem really is is Aladdin's not the main character in this movie. You may think he is, but it's Genie, and that's the one thing I have a hard time doing it solely because Robin Williams is no longer with us. I don't know if Benedict Cumberbatch snorts a bunch of coke and drinks, he might be all right. And you're getting precious about the the cartoon version. I I guarantee you, it's not going to be a musical. No, no, it's 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 not going to be solely Rob. No, it's see that's you the know, they're reason. They're not going to get some other funny guy in, you know. Well, see the the reason why I think it was really good is because it was almost a hundred percent improv. Well, that's I, my point. Is they're not going to do anything like that. There's no reason to. You know that was that was lightning in a bottle. I mean, it's like how we were all like up in arms about Heath Ledger doing Joker, and it, it turns out it was just something completely different. You know, I, I, I no, I agree. I do think they're going to have a hard time going against this because everybody's going to be thinking it's going to be crap. Robin Williams' version of it, or if it's not, it's going to suck. I really do think they have an uphill battle with this. Yeah, I agree. I man, I think the time is perfect to do something like that. Well, you know, uh, get some get some big scope on it. You know, like really get the the that old school badass Middle East when people you know weren't terrified. I'm thinking of twelve power. Maybe a gold ring. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm about as excited as this I am, as I am about Bad Boy 3s, which is going to start filming in May. Wow, I don't know which one I'm looking forward to more. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, wow, really? Oh, man, I, I love both Bad Boys movies. I am not defending them, but I fucking love both of those. I will go with the first one. The second one. Yeah. Oh, the second one, almost because it's more ridiculous, I like it even more. Uh, the the I, weird I can shootout that. with the Haitians was the <laughs> funniest thing ever. So, another question is, how many of you guys like biopics? No. It depends on who it is, honestly. So yeah. here's, here's, yeah. here's one that I actually think would be interesting, because we've had, these are all people I think that are part of the 27 Club, a Janis Joplin biopic, I think, could be interesting, because she's everybody knows her music, but at this point, it's been such a long time since she was alive. It could be at least interesting. I mean, if it's as bad as walking or walk the line, when you got hair lip who hair lip who can't sing. No, um, no but see, I'm thinking you've got uh, Val uh, Val Kilmer who did the Doors Jim Morrison documentary. Yeah. You had the Jimi Hendrix documentary, which was really well done. I well, wait, are we talking about a documentary? Are we talking about a biopic? Excuse me, the biopic, because the, there was a Jimi Hendrix 
biopic I thought was really well done for what it was, I think this would be fine. I, I really do. I think this is at the, the point that people know of her music more than her. I think this could do, do really well. Um, well, it's, I mean, so like I said, I mean, it really, it depends on, I mean, look, I, I, I'm being, you know, uh, uh, standoffish about this and I, and I probably shouldn't because I've watched a lot of biopics that on people that I didn't know we think really think I was going to be interested in. and then you watch it and it's and it's compelling. It really depends on how the movie's made. I mean, I loved Ray. So, yeah, Ray was amazing. Michelle yeah. Williams is set to uh, set, I think, to star as her, and it's going to be Sean Durkin, who's going to be the director. It looks like. Hmm. I don't know. The yeah, name I mean, look, some of these are iconic. Some of them fly under the radar, like the Jimi Hendrix one. I think that was Andre Benjamin from Outcast that. Uh, played Hendrix, right? Uh, I don't remember, actually. Let's just go with me being right on that. And, okay. and I mean, nobody really saw the movie. And I really liked the Doors one with Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Matter of fact, it was kind of creepy because he looked a lot like Jim Morrison in that movie. And he's Which might have been the only thing that was sort of accurate about it. What was that? I said it might have been the only thing that was accurate about it was his appearance. <laughs> True. So I'm, I am actually excited to... To see it. I mean, this is, for me, honestly, this is not a theater pick. This will be a, a rainy afternoon on a Sunday movie type of thing. Yeah, totally. And the other thing is, this will be a perfect time to have Chris Christopherson in a movie, <laughs> you know, considering yeah, but, he's, I mean, he's the one who wrote Me and Bobby Biggie, if nobody actually yeah. knows that. But, and, and really, all my, my, my naysaying about biopics aside, Janis Joplin really deserves her own, her own film recognition. I mean, that, that check was something else. No, no, I agree. I don't think she gets nearly enough recognition for what, for what she did, for how you know, short time she was around. And we're going to switch to our question, which what was our top three heroes? And uh, I'm going to let James go first. Okay, now, now you were specific, and you said comic yes, book heroes. Yes, comic book heroes. So that would be the Hulk. Okay. Doctor Strange. And for some reason, I'm trying to blink on my third. Wolverine. Okay. Because I read the comics of those. Batman would be up there, but I was cartoon with those mostly until later years I started reading the comics. I should have really yeah. amended this for cartoons. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually starting to rethink one of my. <laughs> yeah, I, I had an honorable mention. Matter of fact, I still might throw it out. See? It, it, you said comic book. So, so those okay. are my favorite comic book characters. Okay, let's that's, that's do an addendum. What's your uh, one cartoon? Well, I Batman. mean, look, I mean, they're, they're comic book characters. You know what I mean? Like, they came from comics. I, I don't think there's a need to amend it. So what I'm about, being picky. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Ryan? Okay, well, um, Batman, number one. Um, I've, I've read more Batman books than anything else. Um, number two is the only one that I was thinking about that I had to amend, but uh, Punisher. Uh, hmm. um, haven't read too much of it, like the stuff that I have, but mostly it's the other iterations of them that uh, that I really got into, um, which I thought James was going to have actually, and um, sort of the lesser known one that that everyone kind of forgets about, uh, Spectre. Yeah, Ooh. Spectre is a good yeah. one. Spectre was gangster. And do you have any honorable mentions? No, you you asked me to come up with three. I fucking came up with three. <laughs> wow, talk about picky, picky. Jeez. Um, I get it. So mine would be Batman and Wolverine because I don't know. He's got claws and is snarky as hell. He's a he's a violent little bastard. <laughs> yeah, violent because he's like oh little because he's like five six in the comics. Yeah, yeah. Or well, little. apparently that'll go by the wayside with John. He's just interested in the claws and the and the snarky. Hey, that uh, well, that yeah, ripping people apart. Never mind the story. I just love. <laughs> um, God, and the third one was a little hard because I, I like Doctor Strange. I've read some of the comics. <sighs> Damn, this is really really hard. So I'm gonna stick with Doctor Strange, and I'm gonna have one honorable mention, who's a cartoon, Darkwing Duck. Nice, because. Darkwing Duck is kind of a spoof in all the masked heroes. No Inspector Gadget or Captain Planet. Captain Planet. <laughs> but, oh, by the way, here's another movie news. They're actually making a Captain Planet movie, and if I read the thing right, it sounded like it's going to be a live action. It is. Did, did I? Am I making? I might be making this up. Is Justin Timberlake involved in that? I think so. Along with uh, everybody's fam favorite drowning man. 
David Blaine? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Wow, I man, I was I was really reaching uh, in my brain for that fucking reference, dude. That, right? <laughs> that was obscure. I know. I, only thing that came to mind was David Blaine trying to drown himself three times. <laughs> and I'm see, I read that and I'm like, okay, what's now? I don't know how many people actually remember that cartoon. It was kind of a gimmick when it came out. It was entertaining as all hell. It was it was my ass. I grew up on that show. It was yes, cheesy as so hell. So did I, and I always felt sad for the Indian dude. <laughs> Everybody else got cool power. What was his power? Heart. He's a therapist. That's his power. Yep. I'm going to make you feel better, man. <laughs> it's like a Care Bear. <laughs> Even the dude would have been like, whoa, man. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, take, it takes all of us to save the planet, all right? Yeah. <laughs> and I love the PSAs at the end. After the 80s, when they stopped doing it, their whole goal was, you need to recycle. Yeah. Oh, man. Dude, I, there was, I heard nothing except how to recycle growing up, I swear. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the fuck my parents were doing in their generation, but apparently they did nothing but just throw trash around. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's uh, mercury, <laughs> tennis balls, whatever. Just throw it outside. Yeah, just whatever. Just just, just whipping out those old styrofoam fucking McDonald's containers onto the, onto the sidewalk. <laughs> You know, oh. to where they had to tell all of us, like, like, hey, make sure you, you recycle because your parents are dumb. And so oh, is that asbestos in the wall? Here, let's put it by the crib. Right. So, matter of fact, I know what's going to be the next movie they're come going to come out with. It's going to be Double Dare, the movie nice. with Mark Summer, the dragged his corpse out of whatever movie he television series he's doing now. And if anything, uh, Hidden Temple. <laughs> That's actually in the works. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I, I don't. I, I haven't found a whole lot about it, but I read it in one of my favorite sites, and I'm thinking, okay, how are they going to make this a movie? Don't get me wrong. I love the, the – it was fun to watch, but dear God. Next thing they're going to have is they're going to have uh, – they're going to have, like, Gak the movie or what was a oh, – the, the, the words you can't say in television that was a Canadian show on Nickelodeon in the early days. Uh, I, I'm just waiting for him to do Double Dragon. Again? Yeah. It's a reboot, dude. Well, okay, look, to be fair, they based they, they did a movie because the game was, was really, really fun. It was. Uh, but the, the best old school, part of, old school side scroller who was badass. The best part of that movie was Melissa Milano Alyssa Milano, and only a small segment of that movie with Alyssa Milano. I mean come on. Oh shoot. This is made in ninety four. What was? Double Dragon. Yes. God. Along along with everybody's Worst movie was Super Mario Brothers. So much oh, so as Bob God, Hopskin, Hopskins, or Bob Hopskins. Yeah, whatever his name was, and the other guy drank the whole time. They were hammered throughout the movie because it was so bad. Yeah, I could see that for Bob Hopkins. You just sitting there like, "Fuck it, I'm getting drunk." You know what? Okay, seriously. In, in, uh, in instead of talking about this, you know, Legends of the Hidden Temple being remade and shit seriously though the one thing i I, i'm still looking forward to and i'm still trying to keep an eye on is the sort of kind of tacit reboot that universal is doing with all of the old school monster movies oh Uh, they kind of announced this right around 2014 somewhere um and kind of slowly started to, to piece it together and now they're starting to hire directors and writers but um the original ones that were kind of mentioned was gonna be and these are like like straight up reboots like they want to just do these movies not like um you know frankenstein can talk and is is lecturing at some you know community college or whatever fucking movie that was um so yeah, the, like yeah. actually frankenstein's monster and count dracula and the wolf man and invisible so, man that so, kind of stuff so the only question that i do think a lot of people are going to get this confused is the mummy with tom cruise is slated for 2017 yeah, that is might this, be the first one. Is this going to be based off of and or like the the other one that came out in the mid '90s? The one, no, with the, uh, Frasier? Uh, the what do you call it? Um, oh, I I think that I mean obviously it's going to be sort of loosely based on it, minus you know a lot of the old uh, the the. Well, so here here's the description based as long as they don't do monkey bone. So here's the description on IMDb. It's going to be Brandon Fraser. It's going to be an ancient queen is awakened from her crypt beneath the desert, bringing with her malevolence grown over millennia. Blah 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 blah. So, Isn't that all right? Whatever. Well, no. The, the difference between that one than the other one was the other guy was cursed because he did something he wasn't supposed to. He read from the Book of the Dead and then things like that. But I mean, you know, how how much different can it really be? 
you awake an old mummy. The mummy's got some old Egyptian power. She starts wreaking havoc. Yeah, because it's the, the only one that I'm actually remotely interested. To be completely honest, is the Dracula one. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, even the, the the obscure stuff, you know, like, um, I mean, I want to see a good Frankenstein. Just a, a I yeah. wish they would do it like a time piece, like a like a period piece. See, that's uh, just, that's the one thing is I'm actually worried that it's going to be in modern times and it's going to suck because I think the Mummy movie is by the pictures. And I legitimately think I'm going to have issues with it because at least as a period piece, I think it's a tad bit more believable. It has a little bit more feeling. If it's going to be, you know, like the mummy in New York, I, it's going to be stupid. Well, I mean, to a, to a certain extent, I mean, obviously it, it really depends on the writers, but, you know, just kind of the idea of sort of bringing these things back, um, the, the, the stories, you know what I mean? Stuff that's been around for, you know, almost 100 years. Uh, you know, they, they made, they made a mummies movie, you know, shit every like 10 years there, there are every couple of years that almost be a new one or the new, I mean, they did have in Costello meet the mummy for crying out loud. But, but, but don't get me wrong. I mean, but listen, don't you think it would be better having Dracula set in like 1868 versus yeah. Dracula 2016. He's back in one's vengeance, you know? What was that one? Well, Vampires? yeah, no, see, that's the kind of stuff I think they're trying to get a, uh, away from and get back to just some. Um, you know, legit kind of old school horror suspense movies. Well, you know, that's kind, kind of, of what they fiction. try to do with Benicio del Toro's Wolfman, and that sucked. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of out there. A kind of out there. See, this is why I think I, I really do think this type of movies. I think yes. it's better doing. Excuse me. I think it's better as a period piece. I just don't think doing it in modern times lends itself to. To any any other era but that, yeah, yeah. Well, see, because I like the the you know the group of people kind of dealing with with some monster that's sort of slowly stalking them in some weird setting. That's why I like you know when they did the ninety nineties uh, Brandon Fraser mummy. It took place in like nineteen twenty. Yeah, yeah, and that's why it was good. And that, yeah, because yeah, they didn't have the resources that that one would be able to call upon, and then the the threat has to get that much bigger to combat sort of the, the global, you know, uh, uh, response team. Because you, you and I are both know what's going to happen if, if, if the new mummy, mummy for 2017 is going to happen. They're going to have computers, and they're going to do this and that, and they're going to solve it by using some sort of mathematical formula, and they're going to explain it completely wrong like they usually do with Techno Babble. Like Blade in the second and third underworld? Yes. It's going to suck. And that, that's my biggest thing I'm afraid of is I legitimately love the mummy movies and the Invisible Man, the creature yeah, from the Black yeah. Lagoon. Wait, you, we weren't a big fan of the spinoffs <laughs> with The Rock? No, actually. You don't like smelling what he's cooking? No, I don't like a strudel either. Yeah. So I am i don't know. Funny, that's, yeah, that's, that's how good The Rock is. How do you come back from Scorpion King? Yeah, no joke. Well, you you pretty much just play a gay cowboy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's what you do. Yeah. So I don't Obviously. know. I mean, so I'm really worried. And the other question: Are these movies going to be connected? Which is something Hollywood loves to do now that I, Marvel think, did it. I think they're going to sort of establish the 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 Marvel. I'm sorry, the Marvel Jesus, the Universal Universe. You know what I mean? Kind of, you know, have it be this this world where these types of things happen. You mean you it's know? all relative? Um, so. So I know I we're, we're we're coming up to the to the end of the show, yeah. but so you think this is going to be like eventually we're going to see, you know, like the monsters versus the good guys. You know, it's going to be like Dracula. Van Helsing. Yeah, it's well, going to be something like that. Yeah, I think they might do a Van Helsing, you know, um, and and kind of get into some of that because I mean, you know, that's that's potentially where you can go. I mean, when everyone's oh. trying to do, you know, all of these origin stories of all these comic books and lead them into these big giant Justice what, League. What does an shit. aneurysm feel like? Oh, that is a horrible idea. I can see it now. It's going to be Dracula Mummy versus Tom Cruise. No, no. I can keep his asymmetrical face out of here. I, I'm sorry. It just the idea of of being a Van uh, Van Helsing like him versus everybody. It's like it didn't work. Well, when the first I don't, movie I don't came think out. it's going to be a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Let's oh, throw geez. everything in the kitchen sink in there. Let's see. This is or, what I'm uh, thinking. Kept, the, was it Captain something day after tomorrow? Whatever it was that one. Sky Captain. Thank you. Sky Captain in the Dancer Tomorrow. That movie at least had some redeeming value in it. What, like being steampunk? I don't think so. That does not the save credits. your butt. Okay. <laughs> I can't be a point. <laughs> it's got a point there. Um, 
So I don't know. I just it really worries me just because I just don't see. I don't know. I, I need to hold back judgment, but we'll be interested to see how well it actually does. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, they they got to be able to set the tone if they're gonna if they're gonna start this whole process. You know, they can't oh, just make a shitty first movie. Oh no! I mean, oh wait, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the second film in the rebooted universe. The, the rebooted Universal Monster franchise. Can you guess which was the first one? Oh no! I just read this, by the way. Sucker Punch. Dracula Untold. Oh God, really? That's this. By the way, this is trivia via IMDb, so it may or may not be real. I'm hoping this is wrong because that movie was awful. You know, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. But my expectations were pretty low to begin with. Um, when it comes to, honestly, a Dracula movie, I'm expecting something on the level of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Something with feeling to it, not this very blasé story about how Vlad the Impaler became Dracula. Yeah. I'm sorry. That, yeah, that's eh. been told so many different ways. I just want to read, I really do just want a yeah. straight uh, one-to-one reboot of the story. Okay, so yeah, no, I don't think those movies are going to be connected. God, um, not. The ones that they're doing are basically slated to start 2017. <clears throat> God, I, I am. I, I really, really, really hope this is true because that movie yeah, sucks. No, there's, there's no way that that is. No, because I think that what I heard was they want to do like Dracula, just fucking Dracula, and just you know uh, Frankenstein's monster. You know, like the very simple. Let's just do this story again. Yeah, you know? I, I hope so, because I wouldn't doubt if the director Gary Shore of Dracula Untold is now doing Nike commercials. Yeah, it's suitable. God damn, that movie was bad. And I like uh, Dominic Cooper as well. I actually do like him. I'm pretty sure he's from Banshee. No, no, no. Click on him. Well, this is very nice air. So, <laughs> ladies and- Oh, there we go. He was from Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer, uh, Slayer Need for Speed, Warcraft. Oh, escape. sorry, Preacher. <laughs> so, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, dear God. Uh, we're sorry for bringing you some very sad, sad news. Ladies no, and gentlemen. I'm, not. I'm being blunt. <laughs> Hollywood sucks. Eh, it could be worse. They could be remaking Toxic Avengers. Oh, wait, they are. So, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's right. I just combined two things, Toxic hey, Avenger look, and I, Avengers. I think, I think we've learned something. Okay, vote with your dollars, people. Don't <laughs> yes. see shitty movies, and they'll stop making them. Yep. See, this is why video stores were awesome. You didn't have to go to theaters. You could just rent them. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.